This is what the Belize Barrier Reef looks like to most of us. Vibrant corals of different shapes and sizes, teeming with marine life, a beauty to behold. But marine conservationists and those who use the reef daily will tell you that there are large areas of our reef that looks like this. Empty of color, dull, just white skeletons. Those are corals that have bleached because of warm ocean temperatures this year. Marine researchers are still compiling data from the 2019 bleaching surveys. But from a look at these graphs, the bleaching this year seems to surpass 2017's bleaching at almost every site surveyed. This year, the bleaching event is severe and lasting longer. But there is still hope for some of Belize's corals. This year is, is pretty bad again. Last year, not so bad. 2017 was not a good year for bleaching. Um, and some of the outplanted corals are not bleaching, and that's what we term uh, resilient, so are resistant rather, because they're not even bleaching. And then some that are bleaching seem to recover in a month or two. We call those resilient because they're sort of bouncing back. But even if, even if they bounce back, they're still affected. It slows their growth rate. It slows their reproduction ability and things like that. But there has been a shift in the last 10 years or so because the ones that used to bleach first are not really bleaching again. And we're seeing a different set of species being sort of the indicator ones that bleach first now. So we are seeing a change over time. The bleaching stress level jumped from a 1.7 level between 1985 to 2014 to a 3 or severe level in 2014 to 2017 within Belize's coral reefs. That's almost double in a span of just two years, which shows just how serious this threat is. But it's just one of the many stressors on coral reefs in Belize. In 2001, a hurricane hit southern Belize and caused a lot of damage on land. But there was even more devastation on the reefs. Laughing Bird Key was almost completely destroyed until Lisa Karn, founder of Fragments of Hope, had an idea while in San Pedro. I saw some broken pieces of the Elkhorn or Acropora palmata, but still living and loose in the sand and seagrass. And I thought, hmm, what if we could just put these back? Would, it, would we able to sort of reforest the reefs like they do on land? In 2006, they selected outplant and nursery sites. Fragments of Hope was on a mission to reseed and replant coral sites to help the reef recover. They started here at Laughing Bird Key, where Lisa and her team found dying corals. When we came out here, there was less than 6% live coral cover. There was really um, only two Elkhorn natural colonies around this key and one small patch of staghorn about this big. And um, iris and other threats like bleaching events and disease events had killed off almost everything. This is what it looked like back in early 2000s, dead rubble everywhere. There's still evidence of the massive coral die-off, but Fragments of Hope has done massive restoration work around the key with lots of success. One of the oldest sites from 2018 had over 50% live coral cover, starting from less than 6% in 2010. So to give you a reference, that's pretty fast. That's like six and a half years, 40% increase, right? And the corals that Fragments of Hope planted are growing rapidly. They've monitored the growth of the other corals on the reef. And the difference is astounding. In 2006, the average live coral cover was 11%. And then last year, 2018, which is 12 years later, it had increased to 16%. So by only 5% in about 14 years versus 40% in six and a half years, that gives you an idea of how quickly these corals are growing and what a difference we can make with some intervention. Growth rate varies for the corals. They grow faster in the southern part of Belize. Karn says that regional data shows that the corals planted in the Laughing Bird Key sites are outgrowing those in Jamaica, Puerto Rico, and Florida. So far, Fragments of Hope has outplanted over 80,000 corals. They've planted a number of species, as well as cross species. These hybrids with a unique shape make for a great underwater attraction. There's been growing interest in the hybrid corals because they may be more resilient to bleaching and they're tougher to be targeted by predators. But Fragments of Hope has been working with these corals primarily in the shallow patches off the reef because they provide critical shoreline protection for a site like Laughing Bird Key. A healthy reef also provides habitat for marine critters and supports tourism activities, all social and economic benefits for Belize but these corals can only do so much. The coral restoration we, we are doing here is, is nothing, it's no remedy for climate change. It's just a rapid response, well, 
a response that we came up with as a temporary sort of band-aid to, to bring back uh, the areas to the way that we want to see them. But um, if, if we don't stop as a global entity emitting all the things we're admitting, it's, it's, it's just a temporary fix. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.